Right now at noon, the trial for a man charged with killing a toddler begins this after jury selection. Plus, prosecutors argue former President Trump violated the judge's gag order. The latest developments from his criminal trial. This is News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. We begin with breaking news this afternoon. The Rock County Medical Examiner releasing the name of the woman found dead near the Peace Trail. She's being identified as 22-year-old Kirsten Hansen of Janesville. Her body was found on April 17th on the trail near Afton Road. According to her autopsy, Hansen died from gunshot wounds. Police have a suspect in custody. 23-year-old Logan Barclay of Janesville is charged with first-degree intentional homicide. He and Hansen were in a previous relationship and share a child. Hansen's death is still under investigation. Happening now, the trial for the man charged with sexually assaulting and killing a toddler is underway. Jurors were selected Monday to participate in the trial of Marshawn Giles. The charges against him stem from an incident in 2022. Prosecutors say Giles beat the woman he was dating and her 20-month-old daughter. He sexually assaulted the toddler and threw her into an open toilet and a bathtub. She later died of those injuries. Giles will be up against 15 charges this week. Those include domestic abuse, child sex assault, murder, and possessing a gun as a felon. The trial is scheduled to last until May 3rd. The man charged with killing and mutilating a woman will go to trial. 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson pleaded not guilty in a court appearance. Anderson's charged with first-degree murder, mutilating a corpse, and arson in the death of a 19-year-old, Shaday ha Robinson. Police arrested Anderson after finding the victim's leg in a park earlier this month after the two went on a date. Her car was also found on fire the day after. Then last week, more of Robinson's body parts washed up on a beach along Lake Michigan. Members of the Milwaukee community are still looking for what's left of her. Right now, Anderson's being held on a $5 million bond. He'll be back in court on May 16th. Right now, a woman is in custody in connection with a stabbing over the weekend. She faces a tentative charge of attempted first-degree intentional homicide. That stabbing happened early Sunday morning on Braxton Place near Regent Street. Madison police say the victim is a 30-year-old woman whose condition is now stable at Meritor Hospital. They say the two women knew each other and the incident was targeted. If you have any information about this stabbing, you're asked to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. That number is 608-266-6014. The Dodge County Sheriff's Office is identifying the driver who died in a motorcycle accident in Beaver Dam. 37-year-old man uh, Thomas Davis died of injuries suffered in the town of Calamus on April 14th, just after 1 in the morning. When deputies got to the scene, life-saving measures were performed. Davis was then taken to Marshfield Medical Center be being, be before being flown to UW Health in Madison. Alcohol is believed to be a factor in that crash. The investigation is ongoing. Some of us could see some rain showers today. First warm meteorologist Kelly Swifka is tracking it for us in a certified most accurate forecast. Ooh, the birds are talking out there this afternoon. Yeah, the, well, the sun just came out, and I think that woke the birds up uh, out on the uh, patio. The winds are up uh, as well. We've got the another windy day on tap uh, with the winds out of the uh, west, and eventually they'll switch around the northwest. But we have broken out back into some sunshine after having some clouds this morning. So enjoy that sun for now. Some of these clouds that are rotating up to the north and west, up near Eau Claire, northwestern Wisconsin, those will rotate on in and actually start to build because we have some cooler air aloft. We're heating up the surface right now and that air rises and that creates some instability and that's what we we're expecting. A few showers to pop up uh, this afternoon. Another breezy day if not windy. Now things are changing. I mentioned that cold air aloft coming overhead uh, this afternoon but eventually it's going to go down to the surface and that's going to bring us some cold temperatures tonight with a frost or freeze. Another chance going into tomorrow night. Then we warm up uh, toward the end of the week, and that's out ahead of a storm system that'll bring us rounds of showers and uh, thunderstorms from Friday right through the weekend. Uh, right now, the uh, winds uh, have been up there about uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour, and they'll continue at that level. Temperatures warming up. We're in the uh, mid-60s most areas this afternoon, and uh, we'll continue to climb a couple more degrees before that cold front arrives. So we have the uh, chance of rain today, a couple of dry days, but then as we get into Friday, Friday night, and then especially on Sunday, we're expecting some uh, showers and thunderstorms to roll through going into the upcoming weekend. It's not going to rain the entire weekend, but we are expecting some uh, storms, maybe some heavier downpours with those. Temperatures today headed into the upper 60s. Uh, 68 is what I'm forecasting with the sun that we're seeing right now. As mentioned, that northwest wind will bring us some cooler weather for the next couple of days. And we'll also have more on that uh, chance of storms this weekend, how much rain we can expect as well coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, it is day six of former President Trump.
Trump's criminal hush money trial. Earlier today, Trump's comments about potential witnesses were the first order of business. Prosecutors say he violated the judge's gag order 10 times, including comments about his former fixer, Michael Cohen. The entire opening statement time, both as lawyers talked about Michael Cohen. So doesn't he have a right, Donald Trump, to talk about what went on in court? Prosecutors are expected to call David Pecker back to the stand and ask the former National Enquirer publisher about a 2015 meeting he attended with Trump and Cohen, where they allegedly worked out a plan to conceal negative information regarding Trump's alleged sexual encounter with former adult film star Stormy Daniels. Prosecutors called it a payoff to conceal election fraud. Trump's defense insists he didn't commit any crimes and argues, quote, there's nothing wrong with trying to influence an election. It's called democracy. There are a growing number of campus demonstrations over the war in Gaza. The latest happening in California at the Cal Poly campus in Humboldt County. The demonstrations have spread to campuses across the country with pro-Palestinian supporters angry over Israel's war in Gaza and many Jewish students expressing fear after incidents of anti-Semitism. But many of the pro-Palestinian demonstrators camped out at Columbia insist they reject anti-Semitism and demand the school divest from companies funding Israel. Still ahead for us on this Tuesday afternoon, clothing retailer Express filing for bankruptcy, plus the Federal Trade Commission suing to block a deal they say would harm luxury brand consumers. Attention homeowners, Mad City Baths is looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted bathroom remodeler with installations in as little as one day. We're also your local provider for replacement windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. And now be one of 50 homeowners who call and receive a free installation on a new bath or shower with no interest and no payments till 2026. Senior military discounts plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. Have your zip code and location ready to qualify. Call Mad City now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4460. That's 608-729-4466. Are you suffering with neck pain, back pain, or sciatica due to disc-related conditions? You may have tried drugs, spinal injections, or physical therapy just to find out it didn't help. You're not alone. The problem is that some of those treatments focus on symptom relief, but may not address the underlying disc problem. As a result of injury or overuse, the discs may bulge, herniate, or degenerate over time. Our therapies are highly successful and reduce pain associated with those conditions and may help you avoid neck or back surgery. At Midwest Spine and Nerve Center, we'll design a treatment program using the latest in pain relieving therapies, including non-surgical spine decompression, Pro Adjuster 360 computerized technology, laser therapy, and more. Visit our website or call to schedule a complimentary consultation. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Start your painting project with an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Weather Screen is a water repellent deck stain that protects wood while allowing its natural beauty to show through. Get a gallon starting at $27.98 after rebate. Complete your staining project with Ultra Advanced Semi Transparent Stain. It's a stain and sealant in one that can be applied to damp wood, allowing you to clean and stain in one day. A gallon is $34.48 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. The Federal Trade Commission is suing to block a deal they say would harm luxury brand consumers. Tapestry, which holds coach Kate Spade and Stuart Weisman, wants to buy Capri Holdings, which has Michael Kors, Versace, and Jimmy Choo. 
The FTC says the acquisition would negatively impact American shoppers who benefit from the rivalry between the brands and that employees would lose benefits and wages. Tapestry fired back that the agency does not understand the marketplace nor the way people shop. Meanwhile, grocery retailers Kroger and Albertsons plan to sell off 166 more stores than originally planned in order to try to get FTC approval of their $25 billion merger. Federal regulators and several states sued to block the deal back in February, saying it could raise grocery prices. And Ohio-based retailer Express has filed for bankruptcy with plans to close nearly 100 of its 500 stores. The company reported nearly $1.2 billion in total debts with $1.3 billion in total assets, according to its Chapter 11 filing. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. At the noon hour, here's the latest stock report in the green once again on this Tuesday. The Dow up 238 points, NASDAQ up 226, and the S&P 500 up 60. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Remember, you can call for action at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. BAM is watching today's egg prices straight ahead, and Kelly is tracking rain showers in the first warm forecast. Then later on Live at 4, Consumer Reports with a new warning about a possible poison in the laundry room, how you can avoid it. They're very concerned about the job that they do, and um, very professional, and uh, like I said before, very friendly, so I appreciated that too. With more than 50,000 satisfied customers and an A-plus rating with the BBB, Mad City Baths is the company to call for high-quality bath and shower installations in as little as one day. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners who call now will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts plus call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your estimate. Now be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify here at Mad City. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Two iconic rock bands. One night of history. The Marshall Tucker Band. Jefferson Starship. Live on Cloud9 Tour. Saturday, May 25th. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. All the hits. The history. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. For the first time ever, the Marshall Tucker Band, Jefferson Starship, together. There's nothing like a great night's sleep on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. Right now, you can get a Queen Beauty Rest for just $4.99. Or upgrade your sleep to the unmatched luxury and comfort of the Beauty Rest Black for only $57 per month. You'll rest easy when you use Steinhoffels 60 month financing. Steinhoffels, your mattress destination. Shop in store or online at Steinhoffels.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. We warn you first. We have been talking for days about thunderstorm potential. That's next Tuesday, so make sure you're aware of that storm system as it moves on in. First, with the information you need to be prepared and stay safe. First, warn weather. Giancarlo Esposito is back. Would you ever do a rom-com? I would love to do a rom-com. <laughs> we want to see that. It's coming, baby. Plus, it's a battle of the besties. You better make me look good. <laughs> on the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back at noon. Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Hi, Pam. Hey, Joshy. Hello. Good to see you on a Tuesday. I've got uh, birthday wishes I want to start with, and you'll appreciate this. There's not as many of us out there in the field doing farm reporting as there used to be. I got to wish a special happy birthday to one of my peers that I've been so happy to 
uh, be at meetings with. We ride together from time to time. My buddy Joan Sandstedt uh, from uh, AgReview, Wisconsin State Farmers. She has been a staple of uh, farm reporting in the state. Uh, basically her entire career, she graduated from Oregon High School before she started working with the newspaper. Her and her husband had uh, the newspaper up by Hortonville. Uh, then she kind of moved over towards the farm side of reporting. And I tell you, everybody just thought the world of Joan, and she is celebrating her 90th birthday today. And I wanted to make sure she knew that the farm babe's thinking about her. I miss her bouncing around with me on country roads to different meetings and events. And uh, certainly hope that the 90th is a happy one. Congratulations. Happy birthday, Joan. We're talking about milk production figures that came out yesterday from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Only seven of our major milk producing states came up with anything more as far as milk production. Wisconsin was one of those. Our milk production up about 1%, not quite 1% compared to a year ago. The other thing I'm keeping an eye on is the per cow production. Now, Wisconsin saw each one of our cows producing about 20 pounds of milk more compared to a year ago, but other states not as fortunate. We saw New Mexico milk production go down more than 15%. Oregon gone down more than nine percent georgia down seven even the states that did see an uptick in milk only south dakota catches attention gaining 11 percent and the other thing that you have to notice is this is a long-term trend the average number of milk cows in the united states according to usda 9.33 million head that's 16,000 fewer cows than the october through december quarter and 85,000 fewer cows than the same period last year a lot of those cows went to slaughter because the beef market is so attractive. So something we're going to have to keep an eye on for the long range. Uh, that was part of the reason why our dairy numbers spiked yesterday in Chicago. Wisconsin farmers are continuing to try to work with weather and get planting. A few reports of corn and soybeans in the ground in southern Wisconsin. Otherwise, 19% of our oats have been planted. 25% of our potatoes are in the ground. 22% of our tillage is complete. The good news is with the moisture, we did pick up our winter wheat rating, 82% good to excellent, and pastures are now rated 37% good to excellent. So we're taking all all of this in stride, at least for this stage in April. Dairy markets today, pretty quiet after a big day yesterday and an overall kind of 48-hour rally. Friday and Monday was big for dairy. Barrel cheese today stays unchanged at 177. 40-pound black cheese unchanged at 176. And double-A butter after a major rally yesterday, down three, back to 297 a pound. So there you go, Joshy. Someday when I'm turning 90, you can wish me a happy birthday too. Okay? There you go. 90 years young. Happy birthday to Joan. What a great day. Good job. Yep. She's a good friend. I love it. All right, Pam. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast. First for our meteorologist Kelly Slifka is out on the weather patio. It's sunny now, but some rain showers possible later. Yeah, we uh, have the uh, sunshine right now. We actually have a cold front that's going to be sliding in a little bit later on. It's got some colder air aloft, and uh, with the heating that we're getting right now, that provides that lift that will produce some showers that will pop up uh, with the heating of the afternoon. Right now you can see some of these uh, clouds that are up to the northwest, up near Eau Claire, northwestern Wisconsin. So we're getting a sliver of some sunshine for the next couple of hours, but I would expect a little bit more cloud cover as we uh, go through the afternoon hours and some possible showers today, but temperatures above average as we head into the mid to upper 60s today. Our average right now is 60. All right, we do have uh, breezy conditions today. Uh, we've had that uh, for the last couple of days. A few showers this afternoon. These are gonna be brief. They're going to be fairly isolated, but they may create some gusty winds if you get near one of those showers. And then tonight, yeah, things will be changing after a mild start to the morning. We've got cold weather on the way behind this cold front. In fact, we'll likely see some frost and maybe even a freeze here in Madison. And then we'll have another chance again tomorrow night. After that, it looks like we're going to be warming up. Uh, so ahead of a storm system that'll be coming in from the southwest and that'll bring us some stormy conditions Friday right through Sunday. So here's that secondary cold front that's uh, marching across northern parts of the state. That's what's going to usher in some colder air later today. Even in the later afternoon hours headed home from work or school might actually start to see these temperatures fall somewhat. So if you are headed out this evening noticing it's not going to be as mild as what it feels like right now. Uh, it's a future track, I think we'll have our high temperature probably within the next hour or two as we get up to about 67, 68 degree. Then we start to see some of these uh, showers pop up with the heating of the afternoon, three, four, five, six o'clock, starting to move on out as that sun goes down, but noticing the temperatures start to drop 
as well as we'll have that northerly wind behind that uh, front. So the best chance of rain will be coming from the mid to late afternoon hours as we get toward evening. The chance of rain should be just about history. In fact, we'll actually clear out tonight. We do have the winds again today, generally up there around 15 to 20 miles per hour. But as mentioned, when you get some of these showers, there's that colder air aloft and a lot of wind aloft as well. That brings some of that wind down to the surface. So we could see some uh, gusty winds near some of those showers this afternoon. Uh, those winds still kind of breezy this evening, but they should be diminishing less than 20 miles per hour. All right, uh, for this weekend, Friday, right through the weekend, we do have a first warn alert day due to some possible strong storms. We're going to see several rounds of stor storms moving through, developing Friday, late in the day Friday. Uh, right through Sunday. Now it looks like the best opportunity for rain will be later Friday than again on Sunday. Saturday we'll have that chance, but I think there will be plenty of dry periods uh, in between as well. So tracking that, uh, watching these showers move on in uh, Friday afternoon, Friday night, some heavier uh, downpours expected. Then we get a little bit of a break Saturday, but expecting more storms to fire up Saturday afternoon off to the west, and some of those will reach south central Wisconsin as we go into the late afternoon and evening. Then more showers and storms expected on Sunday. So this can be kind of a long duration event, but it's not going to be raining the entire period. But since we're going to be seeing so many uh, showers out there, we're talking about maybe an inch to maybe as much as two, three inches of rain. Temperatures right now in the mid 60s. We're sitting at 65, 64 in Janesville. Our first water forecast a few showers this afternoon. Temperatures do, though do tumble tonight down to 31. Only 54 tomorrow, even with the sunshine. So some frost in the morning. Another freeze expected Thursday morning. And there's that chance of rain as we start to warm up. Well in the 70s with some sunshine Saturday, but also we could see some stronger storms as well. Our first warning alert days uh, for a Friday right through next Sunday. All right, Kelly, we'll be watching it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe he found buried in a box in the back of his closet. You know, we love flipping through community cookbooks where women from a church, sisterhood, or social club collect their best recipes. These cookbooks are usually sold as a way to raise funds for their organization. And when it comes to recipes, they're typically ones that each contributor takes great pride in, since their name is often printed right on the same page as the recipe. You can bet this gets a bit competitive, but in a fun way. Today, I'm sharing a recipe for a southern chicken salad bake that's a twist on one that I came across in a community cookbook that I found buried in the back of my closet. It's so good, it's certainly worth sharing. It's simply a can of cream of chicken soup, some mayo, chopped celery and onion, pimentos, and cut up chicken. You know, we mix it all together, then spoon it into a casserole dish. And just before it goes into the oven, we top it with cheddar cheese and coarsely crushed potato chips. When it comes out, it's ready to serve for dinner, family style, or we can take it to a neighbor, because that's what they do in the South. Either way, you're in for a treat. To get the recipe for our chicken salad bake, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a favorite Southern way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Coming up, UW Health Clinical Dietitian Michelle Swader has some tips on farmer's markets. What you need to know next at noon. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Attention homeowners, time is running out to call Mad City Baths as we look for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. Choose from premium wall patterns including Santa Cruz and Arctic ice, infused with microband for easy cleaning. In addition to baths, Mad City is also your trusted source for eco sky windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Last chance during this program to be one of 50 homeowners who receive promotional pricing with free installation on a new bath or shower. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. And remember, it's your last chance to call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with estimate. Zip code and location are important. Call Mad City Baths now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608. 8 that's 608 
Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Tens of millions of roofs across America are failing wearing out decades early and leaking, oftentimes without you knowing about it, causing tremendous damage. Here's how you know you have a problem with your roof. Black streaking, your roof looks rough, or granules shedding off into your gutters or showing up in your driveway. Your roof is wearing out too fast and it's going to cost you a bundle. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. Welcome back. UW Health Clinical Dietitian Michelle Swader is back with us, and we're talking farmers markets yes, today. Yes, it's always a great sign of spring. It sure is. Um, we made it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just in the last couple of weeks, the ones in southern Wisconsin have opened. Um, the ones across the state are going to be opening maybe a little bit later, um, but it's a great way to get in touch with your farmers, support local produce, get some really healthy food. So let's talk about the benefits of buying from the mm -hmm. farmers market. Yeah, definitely the best nutritional quality you can get. As soon as something gets picked, the nutritional quality starts to decline a little bit. So if you've got something that's been shipped over the course of the week up to us in Wisconsin over the winter, it's already lost a couple of its days of nutrition. If you buy that same thing that was picked yesterday from the farmer, it's gonna stay that much fresher in your fridge. You can have a lot more time to be able to use that before it does go bad. Well, and especially in this time too, we're talking about cost mm -hmm. and inflation at the grocery store is a real thing. Yeah, we've gone through times when eggs and chicken and everything have been really expensive. And sometimes in those situations, it can be cheaper to maybe buy from a local provider. Um, you're giving that money right to them and you're not paying a lot of the markup that you would get by you know, paying for something for grocery that had a lot of markup and coverage cost. So it's better to kind of pay the farmer directly. And it's also fresher too because you're getting it right then and there and they probably just yeah. got it from the farm. Mm -hmm. And it's a great place to get some information if you want to try a vegetable maybe you've never had before. You're talking to the person who grows it. You can ask them, hey, how's the best way to store this? What's the best way to make this? If you're buying eggs or chicken, you can ask them about how they're raised. So it's a great way to get in touch with your food. What do you have for tips as far as people going to the farmer's mm -hmm. market and actually shopping there? Yeah, well, one thing that I like to let people know is if they do food stamps, the SNAP program, you can actually use some of that money at the local farmer's market. So there's usually an info desk where you can go and kind of get a little money exchange. But definitely if you're interested in maybe getting some eggs or some cheese or some chicken, bring a cooler, bring an ice pack. That way you can keep all that food refrigerated. Um, like I said, definitely talk to your farmers. Um, you can definitely look online. There's a wifarmersmarket.org where you can see all the farmer markets in the state. Yeah, and I believe we're going to have that graphic up here on the screen as well. There it is right there. So this is super easy for folks. I mean, not only are you getting incredible food, but you're also mm -hmm. supporting local, and we love to do that here in Wisconsin. Yeah, and some of these farmers are actually growing organic. They haven't really paid the money to get the certification that is required, um, but you know what you're getting, you know, when you can talk right to the farmer, and they're growing it, you know, in their backyard with their family. Um, it's a great way to support and get some really healthy food. It really is. Well, happy yeah. spring, Michelle. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Good to see you, you again. Bet. Let's get to Kelly with a final check of the first warm forecast. Yeah, the uh, the sun has come out now and it's uh, been warming up nicely. That's out ahead of a cold front that's going to bring us some changes. And uh, with that cold front, we can't rule out a few spotty showers popping up with the heating of the afternoon. This will be three, four o'clock, five o'clock, maybe seeing a passing shower. Noticing temperatures actually start to drop a little bit. We'll be quite cool tomorrow morning down to 31. Some stormy weather Friday into the weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. And thanks for joining us. Have a great day.